In this purely educational video, I will explain to you what tones are. CTCSS tones, DPL tones, DCS tones, PL tones, sometimes also referred to as privacy codes, subchannels, or simply repeater tones. It does not matter what you call them, I will explain them all in a methodical process of explanation scientifically known as the process of deconfoculation. And not only am I going to deconfoculate you, but as an added bonus, I will not bore you to death like so many of those other YouTubers do. If you own a police scanner, a GMRS radio, a ham radio, or even a cheap little Walmart radio, and if you ever actually bothered to read the owner's manual, you may have heard of the terms tones, codes, or sub-channels. Or if you have been lurking in the online radio dork forums, you may have heard about tones for using a repeater. But verily I say unto you, before you can truly understand the power of these tones, or codes, or subchannels, or privacy tones, whatever you call them, it is important that you understand the actual names, which I will now enumerate. You got your CTCSS, which means Continuous Tone Coded Squelch. You got your CTC, which is short for CTCSS. It's the same thing. You got your PL, which is Motorola's name for CTCSS. It's the same thing. You got your DCS, which is Digital Coded Squelch. And you got your DPL, which is Motorola's name for DCS. It's the same thing. Just as DTC is the same thing as DCS or DPL. But I don't know what DTC means, nor do I care, and nor should you care. And you do not have to care because you don't have to remember the names of any of these tones. The names do not really matter, and there will not be a test. I only mention the full names so that any sad hams that may be watching do not feel uncontrollably compelled to leave stupid comments trying to show us how smart they think they are by pointing out that I did not say the names. Some radios may refer to these tones as sub-channels, and allow me to point out that on GMRS radios, FRS radios, and adult walkie-talkie radios, there is no such thing as a sub-channel. Sub-channel is simply a marketing term for a regular channel with one of these tones that we are discussing, or codes, applied to the channel. Likewise, some brands refer to these tones as privacy codes. And just to be clear, there is no such thing as privacy on this type of radios. Let's take a moment to go over that one more time. There is no privacy on these radios, whether it be ham, GMRS, or a cheap FRS walkie-talkie from Walmart. There is no privacy when using privacy codes. Privacy codes are just tones like all the other radios have, and they give you zero privacy. And I assure you that by the end of this video, you will understand why. So to recap where we are so far, CTCSS, CTC, PL, DPL, DCS, DTC, subchannels, and privacy channels are all the same thing, and none of them are private in any way. All of these tones and codes are standardized and virtually all ham and GMRS and even most FRS radios support them. However, some radios do not actually use the tone name and instead they may use some arbitrary numbers that you have to look up in the user manual. For example, to use CTCSS tone 141.3, some radios might call that tone number five, but the tones themselves are standard and are the same across all radios. This is the same with subchannels or privacy tones. 
both of which, just to be clear, as I just mentioned, do not exist and are not private. Some radios might call CTCSS tone 141.3 sub channel number five or privacy code number eight, but it's all the same thing. They are all just CTCSS tones or DCS tones. And it is important to also point out that some brands of radios do not support every single possible tone. Most do, but some do not. When in doubt, refer to the user manual, or if you already threw that into the trash, consult your Google machine. And finally, most radios will allow you to set two tones, one for when you are transmitting and one for when you are receiving. All of these tones, subchannels, or privacy codes, whatever you call them, they all do the same thing, and what they do is very simple and very limited. However, they can also be very confuculating to understand. This is how they work when talking directly from one walkie-talkie radio to another walkie-talkie radio, also known as simplex transmissions. When you enable a transmitting tone, a subchannel or a privacy code on the radio, the radio will send this tone while you are transmitting. You cannot hear the tone, but it's there in the transmission along with your voice. When another radio receives your transmission, if that radio is not set up to use a receiving tone, in other words, the way most radios are because most people don't bother to set any receiving tones on their radios, if that radio has no receiving tone set, that radio will hear your transmission along with everyone else's transmission that's on the channel, just like normal. Let's go over that one more time just to clear up any lingering confocularity. Your radio sends a tone while transmitting. If the other radio is not yet set up to use any receiving tone, that radio Indeed, all radios listening to that channel that have also not set up any receiving tone at all will hear your transmission, even if your radio has a transmitting tone or code set. Stay with me now. If on the receiving radio you enable a receiving tone, the only thing that that radio is going to hear is another radio that is transmitting the same tone. Basically, the receiving radio is going to turn off the speaker until it hears another radio transmitting the same tone that you have set for receiving on the receiving radio. Imagine for a moment that on the receiving radio, you configure a different receiving tone from what the transmitting tone is sending. Can you guess what will happen? Go ahead and guess. If you configure your receiving radio with, for example, tone 67, you will only hear other radios transmitting that same tone 67. If your friend is transmitting tone 141.3, then your radio that is set to receive tone 67 will not hear him. Because if you were paying attention a moment ago, your radio has turned off its speaker until it hears the matching tone being transmitted from the other radio. If we set this one to 67, it is not going to hear a radio transmitting tone 141.3 or anything else. But remember, if you programmed no receiving tone at all, then you will hear everything. So your friend can be transmitting whatever tone he wants. If you have no tone set, you and everyone else on the airwaves will hear everything he says, even if he is transmitting a tone. You only need to use the receiving tone if you do not want to hear all of the other people transmitting on that channel, and you only want to hear your friend who is transmitting a tone. So using matching tones on both radios is only good for not hearing other people talking, even though they can all still hear you, assuming they are not using any tones. A very common question that many people ask is, 
What if other people are transmitting nearby on the channel, either with different tones or no tones at all? What will happen? And the answer to that question is, you will not hear those people if you have a receive tone set and if they are not using any tone or if they are using a different tone because your radio will only activate its speaker when it hears the same receive tone that you have set. However, those transmissions are still there in the air, cluttering up the airwaves, and they might still block your transmission, or you might be interfering with their transmissions without even knowing it, because remember, you can't hear them if you have set a receive tone on your radio. You will only hear them if they are transmitting the same tone that you are set to receive. And this is why most radios have a receiving light. That light will still light up when people are transmitting over the air, even though you may not be hearing them because they aren't matching your receive tone. When people are talking, your receive light will still light up. And many radios have what is called a monitor feature, such as this high-quality Bufhuang UV5R. When you press the monitor button, that will temporarily turn off the receive tone that you have set, and it will allow you to listen to see if anybody else is talking before you begin to transmit. Are you with me so far? Stay with me now. You are doing great, and we are almost done. With repeaters, this all works basically the same way, except the confoculation is doubled because a repeater uses two frequencies and a tone for each frequency. One for transmitting, and one for receiving. Virtually all repeaters require a transmit tone set on your radio before you can use the repeater. And that works pretty much the same way I just explained when you're using a tone to talk with your friend direct radio to radio. The repeater is listening for a matching tone, and the repeater ignores everything else it hears until it hears a radio transmitting with the correct tone. When it hears that tone, the repeater activates and begins retransmitting the signal. When the repeater repeats your transmission for everyone to hear, it may optionally also add a transmit tone. But just like when you are talking with your friends radio to radio, the receive tone is optional. You do not have to enter the repeater's receive tone into your radio because, remember, if you have no receive tone set on your radio, you are going to hear everything. If, however, you have the wrong receive tone set on your radio, you will hear nothing. This is why oftentimes when you are troubleshooting trying to use a repeater, many of the experts or people who just actually know what they're doing, will recommend that you disable or turn off your receive tone for the repeater, just to rule that out as another thing that you're probably doing wrong. And if you have the correct matching receive tone on your radio, you will hear only the repeater and nobody else or no other repeaters that may be using that same channel. Congratulations, you are now either more confoculated than you were before you started, or you are now a YouTube certified radio tone expert. <laughs>